Eddie Z here with another BIS Student Voice Network tutorial. Today we're looking at creating a brand new banner and background for your personal BIS Voice Network website. So let's go ahead and log in. I'm going to use our T-Tester login. And once you log in, I want you to take a look up here to this admin bar. You may have not noticed it, perhaps you did. You have a student voice, my account, my blogs, notifications, and so on. This gray bar up here is the admin bar. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the dashboard here on the MY student template blog, and that will take me to the back end of the site. Now I'm going to control click this and just open up a new tab so we can see how the site looks like. This here is the MYP student template. This is how your site will look like when you first receive it. You'll notice some things about the site. It has a background. It has a, a banner. It has widgets, this BIS network, this New York Times Learning Network, these widgets down here. These, this is your site. This is your personal little area of the web. This, I would encourage you all to please customize, change it, change the background, change the banner, add some widgets, and above all things, create some blog entries. So today, we're just going to look at two things, modifying the background and modifying the banner to customize this to your personal settings. Going back to this dashboard, you'll see here that we have several widgets here on the left-hand side. Posts, media, links, pages, comments, and appearance. If you go to appearance, you'll see themes, widgets, menus, smart one settings, and so on. Don't worry so much about these quite yet, but take a look at the background. And you can see here at the background, you have this one image that is repeating itself constantly. You can choose a particular color. You can remove this background image. You can do so much with this. So if you want just a solid color, I'm going to go here, select color, and you'll see this color wheel here. And let me just select this kind of weird red and save those changes. You'll see that this background, oh, I know, I need to remove this background. There we go. So remove the background, select a color, and it's already saved. We'll save it one more time. That's a funky red. And I'll press Control or Command R to refresh this page, and you can see that the background has changed. But perhaps a colored background is not what you want, but you want a cool kind of repeating background. Let me give you one great website. It's called backgroundlabs.com backgroundlabs.com and it gets all these free backgrounds and patterns that you can choose from. I'm going to go over here and you can see they have it categorized by abstract, animated, Christmas, clouds and skies and so on. I'm going to click on abstract backgrounds. I see all these cool backgrounds. I see this great green one here with these circles. That yeah, looks pretty good. I might actually want to get this. So I'm going to go ahead and go download image. Click on download. I'm going to control click or right click and say save image as. And I'm just going to save that right to my desktop, my very messy desktop. Go back to the background setting here on my dashboard and I'm going to hit the browse button. Go to my desktop and find that one green image. Let's see how that looks like. Great. Press open and upload. And you can see I'll set it to position left, center, right. You can fool around with this. Uh, certainly you want to repeat this. If you don't repeat it, it will look like this. You don't want that. You want to tile this. Tile horizontally, tile vertically. No, a full tile. And click Save Changes. Head back to my site, Command-R. And I just customized my background. So this is looking very good. But there's one more thing I like to do. And I want to customize this banner as well. Now, if you go to your back end here, your dashboard, I'm going to click on the header button here, right underneath background. And you'll see that you have some default images that you can choose from. I selected this sky image, but I could easily select one of these other default images as well. For instance, I can select this pastoral scene here and click Save Changes. Go back to my site, Command-R. And you can see now I've changed this to this pastoral scene. But perhaps one of the new, one of these default images 
aren't the ones that you really want. You want something very particular. Well, you can upload your own image. Just making sure that you make that you have it at the correct dimensions, 940 by 198 pixels. What I recommend you do is head over to seashore.sourceforge.net. Seashore.sourceforge.net. And this is a free image editor. Now you could easily use something like Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. And those work just as well, perhaps even a little bit better. But Seashore is a free, open source, great little photo editor. And when you download and you put it on your desktop or you put it in your applications folder, you will you can drag and you'll see, drag an icon to your dock and you'll see a little Seashore little fish here. If you click on that fish, it'll ask you new image settings. And I really like it just for those reasons because it'll ask you right away, what do you want these image settings to be? Well, you know you want 940 by 198. So I'm going to type in 940 by 198, full color resolution, press create, and I'll bring up this window here, this image editor window. At this point, it takes one good mind to really just geek out, create this really cool banner, and then go file, save as, and make sure you save it as a JPEG image. Once you saved it, save it to your desktop, save it to your documents folder, head back to the back end of your site, browse, choose that image, and upload it. Well, right now I don't have one ready, but I'm just gonna click on, I like that green, so I'm gonna just stick with that. And you can see here, just reload, and nothing will change. Okay, well, hopefully you learned something from this tutorial. Replacing the background, replacing the banner image, and customizing your site just a little bit further and making it just more unique for your needs. If you have any follow-up questions, please don't hesitate to contact me via email or just stop me sometime in the hall. Eddie Z, out. Boop.